like to be liked. I don't like to offend people. I would like to be a happy, contented person. I don't want to have to sell my soul again, as it were, to have a hit record. You know, one cannot be absolutely oneself in public because the fact that you're in public makes you, you have to have some kind of defense or whatever it is. <laughs> um, but uh, you're not going to change your act just for uh, the law privy. Oh, no, like we'll keep like the same kind of thing, like won't we? Oh, well, yes, yeah, that's man. right. Our life. The album, the work we did on this thing is really a play, a bit the way but we're it. using ourselves as the characters. And what we sing about in the record and the songs are, is, is, are real diaries of how we feel. I called her and I said, well, look, uh, we were talking about recording. It must have triggered something off here because I'm getting all this stuff. And I started singing it to her down the phone or playing a cassette. And she would call back two hours later and say, well, when you sang, sang that, losing you, or I, I, she'd come back with moving on or something. And then I'd say, oh, moving on, okay. And then... I couldn't wait to get back and start then. It just, I suddenly had all this material. Your first meeting with the American press. You had to have discipline and not count, not touch the kid. He had to be a hard nut. A, ch a, a boy was really programmed to go in the army. That was about it, you know. And you had to be tough and you're not supposed to cry and you're not supposed to show emotion. And I know Americans no. show no. more emotion and are more open than English people, but it's pretty similar over here. There's that Calvinist, Protestant, Anglo-Saxon ethic which is don't touch, don't react, don't feel. And I think that's what screwed us all up. And I think it's time for a change.